Hi there, it's Bob from Greybeard Models. Welcome back. Um, I just thought I'd do a quick video on um, the US Marine figures that I got. I've made a start on painting them. Um, you would have seen a, a still before this introduction started and it's the first figure that I've picked. So uh, let's have a look how I got, went about it and uh, see what you think. Back with uh, these um, US Marine figures and uh, so fix them onto these uh, little mixing cups that I've got um, and uh, given them a thin coat of primer and leave them to, to dry um, and I've noticed as, as they dried um, there's one or two of the figures these sort of areas where the primer hasn't hasn't got in there very difficult to spray black primer but it's not an excuse um, I'll give those I can say I've only given them a thin coat so I'll give them a another thin blast of, uh, of primer and then uh, yeah, see that one there, that, that side of the, the gun has, has, has not got any primer on it. But that's fine. Um, and I'll get another thin spray over with primer. And I'll do that in the morning. Back in a second. Okay, so uh, <laughs> a day later, um, as, as on the previous shot, um, did the black primer. I've now gone over them with a grey primer uh, and give it a sort of light coat of a grey primer um, and the reason I've done that is so that you know you've got a, a, a light and a dark sort of technique going on there and uh, managed to sort of tone down the black which is which is quite good and, and also when once I start putting the, the colours on um, obviously because I'll use a, a thinned a thinned acrylic um, I'll probably be using sort of a model colour by Vallejo I've got a whole range of, of sort of greens and things which I'll get sorted out for the next little bit of video but then uh, you know we're looking at I was looking at the faces and some of these faces are really really cool I mean they are really really cool um, I don't know if that will that will focus on it might need to zoom in a bit just to see how how good the camera is at sort of focusing uh, no, it's not really having it this camera is not that clever but but yeah the, the expressions on the faces are really really good um, if that one will come through So obviously the barrel of that gun needs to be straightened up a bit but um, yeah so I've given them a coat of, of the grey primer and then you've got the, the sort of lighter at the top and it'll be darker up in the undersides and create those shadows so I'm quite happy with that and we'll move on see you in a bit so having primed them um, I, w I selected one figure and decided that I'd give that a go and see how that came out um, using the paints that I've got in stock so uh, let's get back to the bench and I'll show you what I've done so I've got uh, my stash of <laughs> out of my stash of paints um, I've got a selection of greens um, sort of using this as maybe a, just a tonal change but these are so I've used a sort of cam olive green, um, Vallejo 70894, the olive grey 70888, the UK, UK, US dark green 70893, uh, the 70891 intermediate green, like I said I've used that just for making subtle tonal changes and then this one which is a 70922 uniform green so that's all the greens that I selected 
I then went on to look at sort of buff colours for the um, the sort of um, what they call it the, like the flak jacket type thing. So I used a number of colours for this. I started off with the 70873 US Field Drab, the 70876 Brown Sand, the 70917 Beige, 70921 English Uniform, which is a sort of browny colour, and uh, 70860, which was a medium flesh tone. Um, all of these sort of had the right sort of shades. Um, 70988 car key again these are these are all tones that I sort of selected irrespective of really what they're called um, and this one the 70876 which is a buff colour according to Vallejo so I had all of those to be getting on with um, then I decided that the figure that I would paint would be an African American so I chose these two colors which are the only two sort of brown colors that i've got one this one here which is a model air color which is a dark brown and this one here which is a mahogany brown the 70846 um, so there's a whole selection of colors there and then in terms of the weapons i used the uh, 70863 which was a gunmetal grey and uh, 70862 which is a black grey um, and then I also used a, a 70992 neutral grey which is slightly lighter shade and then the 70989 sky grey and I'll, I'll, I'll explain what I used that for later uh, and also a little bit of the glossy black the, the 70861 so I had this whole selection of uh, of paints available. So let's move them all out of the way. Uh, over that. And uh, and this is the figure. Don't know if uh, this will show up very well, but let's try and get a light down onto it. There you go. So we can get the camera. Camera is having trouble focusing, I think, because of the background. Um, but yeah, so used various shades of the greens and the flak jacket, or what was it called? Sort of a combat body armor or something. Um, so that was that was that colour, and then the various different shades of, of green um, on the on the actual uniform itself. And like I say, with with the guy being African American, um, I come up with a skin tone which I think is right, but it it, it sort of looks okay. Um, I'm not entirely happy with it, but to be honest with you, I'm never happy with skin tones anyway. Um, and I did um, a sort of camouflage effect on on the top of the helmet cover and instead of painting the um, I think it's like a lubricating oil for, for the gun um, I, I did that in the that was done in the in the sky grey um, I thought that was far better than, than a sh shocking sort of white car now the boots I've done in the various greys, I chose the sort of black grey, neutral grey combination for the boots um, and I think that's come out reasonably well. I don't know 100% if these colours are absolutely correct but I'm actually quite pleased with the outcome. So I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll put this down um, and get some shots of, of this figure. So I'll be back with you in a sec. So here's the finished item. Um, 
I'm quite pleased with it actually. A couple of things on there that I could have dealt dealt with but didn't, and that was should be a, a strap for the for the carbine, but that's okay. Maybe in the next one. But apart from that, I'm quite pleased with the outcome, uh, given it's the first one of these sorts of figures that I've actually dealt with. Um, it, it's come out really quite quite well. Um, um, I think a hell of a lot better than I thought it was going to be, um, given the whole selection of greens and different colours that I had. Managed to get the, the sort of camouflage on the on the top of the helmet on the, on the cover. Quite pleased with that. Um, and generally, the overall. Um, outcome I th I'm quite pleased with um, hopefully yeah I think the next one will probably be better um, gonna need to get some more different brown tones I think um, I'm not entirely convinced with the flesh tone but then I'm never really entirely convinced with the flesh tone you know, when when you're dealing with sort of Caucasian figures, um, but I think it sort of worked. But hey, yeah, all in all, quite pleased with that. Um, leave your comments below, and uh, thanks for watching. Bye for now.